The scripture says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. The Lord be with you. Unless the Lord builds the house, their labor is but lost that built it. Many, O Lord my God, are the wonders ye have done. When we are happy and full of joy and laughter, God welcomes us. When we are weary and we need to slow down and rest, God welcomes us. God of welcome, God whose door is always open, we are glad to meet you here. It's great to see you all. Uh, can I just say that school is not the same place without you. Uh, it's, it's really empty and hollow and the reason that we come to school is because you, the students, are the lifeblood of it. So I'm really looking forward to, hopefully, sooner rather than later, in the next couple of weeks, uh, when all of you return and where we can be actually teaching face-to-face -face again. Uh, I hope that this time has been a time where you have been able to uh, reconnect with your family, enjoy the slower, more simple pace that life has been, and perhaps learn some new skills or upskill, uh, learn something that you haven't known how to do before. I hope it's been a time where you've been able to feel energised by doing more exercise perhaps or being out in nature. Um, and so for some of us, I think it's probably been uh, quite a challenging time because it's really surreal and abnormal to not be around humans the way we normally are. And so I think it's really normal to miss that human interaction, which we, most of us really enjoy and sometimes even crave. Uh, but then I hope it's been a time as well where you've been able to feel like um, the slower pace of life has meant that you've been able to uh, reflect and consider other things and just do other things, fill your life with with other things that you didn't have space uh, because of the franticness of life and the pace that it was uh, before COVID-19. But I just want to reiter reiterate that I'm really excited for uh, you guys coming back to school, uh, seeing you face to face and doing school uh, as we're a little more familiar with because we as teachers, the very reason that we become teachers is to interact with, with teenagers and to do that on a daily basis. So hang in there for the next couple of weeks. Uh, do the best you can with your work and keeping on top of it. Uh, but then I hope that you two will be looking forward to uh, returning and uh, yeah, I, yeah, and, and seeing each other um, face to face. Um, so take care and yeah, use the extra time that you have over the next couple of weeks um, to, I hope you use that wisely and use that well. Thanks, we'll see you soon. A reading from John chapter eight. Jesus said to his disciples, peace be with you, as the father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on the disciples and said to them, 
receive the Holy Spirit. A reading from Galatians. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We pray for the charities and agencies, police officers and Centrelink workers, phone counsellors and social workers and everyone who through their work are trying to help people in difficulty at this time in our community. We pray for strength for people who are anxious or upset with the danger of this pandemic. We pray for us all for peace and patience through this time and that we feel able to reach out for the support and friendship that we need. We pray for people in parts of the world where the virus is more dangerous and where there is not good quality health care we are blessed with. We pray for countries to be generous in supporting their neighbours. In the Lord's name, Amen. We pray that out of this challenging time, we can learn to live together better, be better neighbours, and learn to cooperate in facing all the important issues in our world. Help us to stay connected through this time. Help us to reach out to our friends and to those who need some support. We give thanks for our homes and families. Help us to look out for one another. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control. When we show these qualities, God's Spirit is at work in us and through us. Thank you, Sabany House and our house leaders for putting together our video. And there is just one final thing. At the end of this video, think of someone you can connect with, get in touch with, whether by phone or FaceTime, Facebook, whatever it is you do. Take the trouble to think of someone you could get in touch with after you finish watching our service. I'll be doing the same thing myself straight away. And we close with the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.